Okay, we're here at the 2013 uh, Toronto Sportsman Show with Simon Frost representing Hummingbird, the newest thing, down imaging or 360 imaging. 360 there, imaging, there absolutely. Brand new this year, really exciting. If you see here, we've got the traditional view, the side imaging view that yep. you know we've gone over in the past. Guys have been using it for years. So what they've done is they've taken the side imaging, put it into this add-on transducer. Okay. So if you have one of the, the newer 798 HDs or any of the 898, 998, or 1198 units that are Ethernet uh, compatible, yep. you buy this add-on, put this on the back of the boat, I'll explain that in a second, and that turns your side imaging unit into the new 360 imaging. Holy, how cool is that? So instead of going 160 feet, I think we were set at 164 feet out the left on the right side of the boat, now what they've done is we're 164 feet all the way around the boat, the back, the front, the sides, everywhere. Okay. So not only are you seeing 164 feet out to the left, now I can see 164 feet in front of my boat. So what you're coming up to, or what's yeah. to the left, or what's to the right, or what's actually behind yeah. you too. All the way around. All so if you're around. working uh, a transition, you can stay on that. You can turn. You can see that the transition is going to turn on you coming up. Yeah. Get ready for that or rock piles out to the front left, back left, back right, front right. Yeah. So not just past history anymore, now what you're coming up to. Yeah, and this is with uh, with all the interlinking systems, you can pinpoint it and mark it right onto your GPS as well. Yeah, exactly the same way as you would the side imaging. So we've got a transition up there coming up. I wanna make sure I can fish it. So I'll scroll over. Put it right on top and mark my waypoint. Yep. Exit. Then go back into my GPS and fish it. There we go. Okay. We mentioned uh, you mentioned here with the electronics with the 360. Let's talk a little bit of the hardware that's right down by your feet and the actual transit, um, the down portion of that 360 itself. Yeah. Now, if you know about the uh, the talons, this is the bracket for a talon. Solid. They've come out with a, a new bracket, so instead of having like 450 different brackets, they now have three. Okay. This one is universal, as long as, you know, it just goes on your back of your fiberglass boat. Yep. Depending on the style of jack plate you have, this bolts on the side. So for left side, it would be like this. The other side, you turn it, flip this over, and it's completely adjustable. Yeah. So it's made for any style of boat. Any style of boat. So then the other style, it depends on, the, again, your jack plate. They have a sandwich one. Yeah. And there's a left model and a right model of that. This one's universal. So you have this bracket. If you have the talon, then you would to get this adapter. That bolts in there like that. So now your talon's here, and your 360 goes here. Nice. Now, if you don't have a talon, you will need this bracket okay. to run your 360. Okay. Now on an aluminum boat, that'll just bolt right to the back. Right. And then about the transducer. Yes, we definitely need a demo on that transducer because that's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty neat. Fantastic. So you pull up to your spot. It's yeah. not made to be deployed at high speed. Mm -hmm. So it's low speeds, uh, seven miles an hour and under. Okay. You pull up to your spot, deploy your transducer. There's two ways to deploy it. You can come to the back, push that down, or you can control it on your screen. Oh, okay. So you drive up to your spot, hit the quick menu button, hit deploy, it comes down, get up, start fishing. So you, and you mentioned at 77 miles an hour, you can deploy this and you can still move around on your main engine and yep. have a look around before you even start fishing. Yeah, and the coolest part about this is side imaging really only work properly when you're moving. Mm -hmm. Because the transducer's in the head of this unit and it's spinning on its own, you're getting this nice clear picture when you're stopped dead. Yeah. So you don't have to be moving for it to work. Gene. So it's really going to open up the way you know you would approach uh, structure, the way you'll approach weed beds, yeah. rock piles, yeah. and obviously my favorite transitions. Yeah. So all your selections are on your screen. Now, a really neat part we've had a lot of questions about this is what happens. You know, you're all excited. You jump down into your cockpit, start your engine, and take off. Once you hit your selected alarm, so you go into menu, alarms, your 360s, 
I uh, retract alarm, so I'm going to set that at five miles an hour. As soon as the boat hits five miles an hour, and alarms turns on, actually just like that. So then I want to retract my 360. So there's nice. a safety built there's into safety it. Safety built into it. Yeah. Outstanding thinking. Well, Simon Frost, thank you, sir. Thank that you. That was an inside look on the Hummingbird a 360.